I'm back and I do apologise for having to cut the video short there I did really think that I'd have enough time to fit it all in but with everything what's happening in the match it just dragged on too long Ah, not that time Mick Fowler Ok, so I've got to perform the rock bottom Reversed it yet again. I shouldn't have actually tried that, seeing as how they can grab you in midair. So the rocks heavily bleeding. <clears throat> Vince McMahon's watching on. Oh my gosh, the front of the back of the head. Oh, and this is Fuck, I can't reverse anything. I just need a signature. Blood everywhere on the rock. The referee looks disgusted. <laughs> oh shit, another reversal. Fuck. Okay, so the referee didn't count at all there. Was Alpha. Okay, so we've got a signature. Rock bottom. So, all we need to do now is put Mankind in the sharpshooter. Elbow drop. down like a ton of bricks on mankind then. Now mankind's bleeding. I don't actually think there was a match that went by that Mick Farley wasn't bleeding. Some own drop. So the match is all mine at the minute. With a big elbow drop. Okay, so he's the sharpshooter. There's no way to get to the rope. Mick Foley data. The Montreal screw drop all over again. What the fuck? Montreal screw screw job all over again. <laughs> it's always full of shit. Shit. He's gonna snap. It's the rock. Oh 
Ricci. Oh, to the back. Smack down Oto. Yet again, becoming a heel. And for all our troubles, there we got the WWE Championship 98 to 2000 rewards. Moving on to the next event, there's getting an even bigger gap between Nitro and Raw at this present time. So we've got X Pac finally. Get to see some X-Pac versus The Rock on November 23rd, 1998. Now I don't know whether this is the bonus match that we unlocked earlier, because I think that was the same date. The setting is Rory's War in St. Josie. Eight days after Survivor Series, Mr. McMahon appointed a new WWE Commissioner. The heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels, but Mr. McMahon was shocked when Michaels' first act as commissioner forced The Rock into a WWE Championship match against Michaels' longtime friend and part of the clique, X Pac, or X Pac, whichever way you like to see it. <coughs> uh, the historical bonus events get The Rock's damage to critical, perform a finisher, and pin in 10 seconds, so that finisher will be. If I believe, is it the X Factor or something like that? I thought, I, I've actually forgot. After all this hope that I've given X Pac, I forgot his special move. <laughs> in his customary red attire which wasn't quite as good as the white going up the side where the black is now the green where the red is and the black where the white is yeah he did have a shuffle around with colours back in the day no bandana European champion at the time was X Pac. And X Pac wanted to become a Grand Slam champion, just like Shawn Michaels before him. But he did, he never did reach that feat. Well, I'll tell you what, anytime I can see a WWE Championship match, I'm for that. And don't go on it. X-Pac deserves the opportunity, whether he's Shawn Michaels' friend or not. You know, I don't think Mr. McMahon makes many mistakes, but i got to go out on a limb here and say he made a mistake hiring Shawn Michaels as the commissioner of the WWE. I always thought that um, William Regal, or even Mick Foley himself, made a better commissioner than Shawn Michaels. I never really got that storyline much. Yeah, we're gonna have some X Pac. We're bringing the DX back into the fold a bit here. Yeah. Seeing as though there's a bit outshone by the Brothers of Destruction, due in their perspective. And we've only seen Triple H once since the DX um, perspective. Which was, I think, a bonus match between him and The Rock. SummerSlam. So the people screwed the people. The 
Shawn Michaels at ringside. Obviously, I'd like to Bronco Buster. Maybe not yet. Maybe it's a signature move. Shit. The Rock's got other ideas. Reversed again. X Pac as well was also obviously as quick as lightning with his martial art type background. Series of moves. Educated feet indeed. I actually missed that. Not doing x Pac any favours here. Didn't miss that he? <clears throat> See what Xbox got. Oh, actually nothing. Going from behind again. Back scuttling. Back scuttling the rock. Driving his head into the floor. So let's try see if we can get a Bronco Buster. Obviously if the rock allows me to. So yet again. Okay, so maybe we've got to him now. Yeah, Bronco Buster coming up. Now obviously I'm not going to go for the finish here. I'm not going to call it the X Factor, just in case it isn't the X Factor. Come on, Rock. Shit. Swinging about. Got the crowd going wild since that Bronco Buster. Now the Rock runs soon. Here we go. Quick scene. Vince McMahon don't want none of that. Oh shit. Shawn Michaels turning his back on X Pac. So Shawn Michaels now joining the corporation himself. And our rewards are X Pac. <coughs> so the Great One scenario is cleared. Next event. The Monday Night Wars have been raging for three years. And as 1998 concluded, WWE had seemingly turned the tide in the battle for reigning supremacy. As a new year dawned, a most unlikely champion. 
So it looks as though we may be entering into a Mankind perspective which is going to be fucking hardcore as we all know Mankind, even Cactus Jack love the hardcore matches, love the cage matches, love the Helena cells loved Bar Boyer, Thumbtacks so before I split the video here again guys we're at WWE Rock Bottom. Uh, the date is December 13th, 1998. So we're really right at the very end of 1998 now. And I believe 1999 is when SmackDown kicked off. So maybe we might see some SmackDown. Maybe. I know the arena is in here. Yeah? The old SmackDown Fist Arena. And we've got Mankind vs. The Rock. Vancouver. And these Jesus follows after another signature screw job, which I did say controversy by Mr. McMahon at Survivor Series. One year after the Montreal screw job, Mankind was left reeling as the corporate champion took centre stage. Mr. McMahon worked hard to avoid a championship rematch between the two, but Commissioner Shawn Michaels had other plans and sanctioned the rematch at rock bottom. And to ensure that it took, actually took place, Mankind had a clause in his contract that stated if the title was not defended, he would win it by default. So obviously The Rock don't want that to happen. Match objectives are win the match. Historical bonus objectives are perform the mandible claw on The Rock. This might also be the night, I think, that... Um, I may be wrong, actually I think I am wrong because it, it was on a Monday night when it was released to the public by WCW that the title was changing hands between Mankind and The Rock thinking that, well Eric Bishop think, thinking that it may bring viewers into the WCW Nitro arena but it didn't, it actually backfired and more views went towards Rory's War, which is one of the turning points where Raw did actually dominate. But I don't think this is the match, seeing as though it's a pay per view, this would be on a Sunday. So, yeah, join me at where we will be taking on The Rock as Mankind. <laughs> 